The next panel is Joyce Zunis, Clayton Maxwell, Gloria Trent, Molly White, Claire Mathias, Donna Mantish. They will be followed by Melissa Wright, John Bromowitz, Emily Powell, Roxanne Gardner, Mary Hiller, Jordan Brown. Okay, is Joyce Zunas here? Joyce Zunas was opposed, uh, no, in favor of the bill. We will change that to registering a position instead of wishing to provide oral testimony. Clayton Maxwell. Clayton Maxwell was opposed to the bill. And we will change it from oral to registering a position. Gloria Trent. Gloria Trent is opposed to the bill. We will change that to registering a position. Molly White. <laughs> Molly White was in favor of the bill. And we will change that oral to registering a position. Claire Mathias. Yes. God, go ahead. <laughs> My name is Claire Brett Mathias. I live in Austin. <coughs> with my husband and my nine-year-old son. I'm represented by Senator Kirk Watson. I'm here in, in opposition to SB1 and would like to speak on behalf of what seems to be a rarely represented and often overlooked population, although tonight's the first night I've heard it mentioned, and that is mentally ill women. I, and I was very glad to hear that mentioned. Um, I strongly believe that the lack of practical and reasonable access to um, abortion could have devastating consequences for women and their, their families. So I'm going to try to quickly share my story um, as a sort of on behalf of other people um, who go through similar things. Um, I'm bipolar. I have bipolar disorder. Um, when I became pregnant, um, I was able to manage it with the assistance um, initially with the assistance of my OBGYN and my psychiatrist. Unfortunately, I, I became uh, much worse uh, as I got closer to when my child was born. I then suffered postpartum depression, and I became psychotic. Well, on the edge of psychotic. It depends on, on who you talk to. But I'm going to kind of graphically tell you how I felt and, and why, if I ever became pregnant again, I would need to have an abortion. I imagine my fingers, I've never, I'm sorry, I've, I've not talked about this in public ever before. I imagine my fingers severed and bloody. I visualize my eyes being poked out. I believe people could read my mind. I, I projected this thing sitting on their son and I was uh, within a split second of driving into a truck or off a bridge. I love my son, I love my family, but I, was on the edge of completely losing it. And um, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's all I have time I have. Thank to you go. for being yeah. here and sharing with us. Claire Mathias? Yes. No. Donna? Yes. Mantish. Donna Mantish. Mantish. This was Claire. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Donna, go ahead. My name is Donna Roman Mantish. I'm the fifth generation. Texan mother of two, educator and administrator. I reside in Williamson County. Uh, my senator is Charles Schwertner. I vote on issues and not straight parties, and I have three main objections to this bill. This bill did not come into being um, as a result of a problem of women's health or safety. It was crafted by an organization of businessmen and legislators that have an agenda to impose their personal religious beliefs and seek collective power in our government. As a lawmaker, do, do you not have to find a duty to find the fair and equitable position that meets the needs of all Texans? I do not believe that this bill does. I was raised to believe that my rights were protected in the Constitution and therefore raised my children in that same way. My son's about to go on his fourth deployment with the United States Marine Corps Special Operations Battalion in Afghanistan. Please tell me that his fat sacrifice for this country and combat and protection of its constitution are not wasted. I also believe that the Supreme Court has resolved this issue in its finding in the matter of Roe v. Wade. 
I find myself in disbelief that women's rights are once again under attack by my own beloved state of Texas. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights 1948 is an overarching set of standards by which governments, organizations, and individuals would measure their behavior towards each other. The preamble declares that recognition of inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Let's elevate, not deteriorate, the state of Texas. The Texas legislature's involvement in my medical care has cost me greatly in the past. Following a tragic accident, my doctors. Oh, your time uh, is up. Thank, thank you, you for hearing me. Panel, and please tell your son thank you for his service I to this country. Will. We appreciate him. Melissa.